Hey, this is Michael from NWA 3D, and today we're going to talk about the installation of our lock builds on our G10 flex plates. So first we'll go over the materials required, and then we'll talk about the process to put it on. So first off, here we have our G10 flex plate. This is the surface that needs to be cleaned and used to have the blue painter's tape on it. Now we're going to have also our lock build surface. There should be a brown paper backing to it, and this is going to replace what the painter's tape was doing previously or adhering plastic. We're also going to have a straight edge to push out any bubbles that may form, and then we'll have a cutting utensil so that we can cut off the extra edges that are formed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the brown paper backing of this object, and we're going to peel it back slightly. And then I'm going to make it at a hard crease just like so. So now that it's creased and ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the this side and the bottom side of my G10 flex plate. So I'm going to do that just by picking both up and then kind of holding my fingers into place and putting them right next to each other. Once I feel happy about it, I can push down on the flex plate and push in the first corner. And then line up the second corner and push in that same side. Now what we can do is we can take our straight edge and we can push down along the build plate to push out any gaps that we may form, and it should like, look like so now. So now what we're going to do, we're going to pull a little bit more of this paper backing away. We're going to do the same thing with the straight edge. So push down that area to make sure bubbles do not form. And then we'll finally remove the brown paper backing and finish adhering the rest of the flex plate. So now it should be pretty free of bubbles and we're going to have overhanging edges. So in order to fix those overhanging edges that we have here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut them off with our cutting utensil just by putting it on this surface so that we don't cut into the table any more than it already is. And then we're just going to cut along the edge of the flex plate. So make both cuts. And then all we have to do is peel it off. And sometimes it won't completely cut through, so sometimes if you bend it down, it should make it break off, and then you can peel it. So now the only thing left to do would be to chop off these corners. To make it very nice and a good fit to the, lock to the G10 flex plate. And now we just need to replace it on our printer so we can move our materials out of the way. move our printer here and we're going to place it on the same build surface like we did previously place on our binder clips and once you have this completed you're going to want to re-level your printer to make sure that you have the appropriate gap when you install the g10 flex plate and you want to make sure that you re-level with a 200 micron gap so you're going to take a piece of paper and you will fold it in half and you will now level with two pieces of paper or a folded piece of paper in order to make sure that you have the correct gap for the lock build. So hopefully you have it completely installed and everything went well and good luck 3D printing.